Hey, peace world, peace. Welcome or welcome back to Goddess Dawn Speaks, aka the Trillion Dollar Goddess Baby. I'm Goddess Dawn and I'm back with the video. Um, you know, I've been following this documentary situation with uh, R. Kelly's daughter. I did post both parts on the channel. The videos are unlisted, but um, if you're subscribed, you should have gotten a notification and you should be able to access them. Other than that, um, let's see what R. Kelly's lawyer, Jennifer Bonjean, has to say about Joanna Kelly, a.k.a. Buku Ari's abuse claims by her dad. Uh, what is R. Kelly's response to this uh, blockbuster allegation from his daughter? Mr. Kelly vehemently denies the allegations. These are frankly not really new allegations. His ex-wife made a similar allegation, I don't know, 15 or 20 years ago, was investigated by the Illinois Department of Children and Family Services. He was under criminal investigation at the time. He's probably the most highly investigated individual on the planet when it comes to these types of claims. And um, the Illinois Department of uh, Family, um, uh, the DCFS, uh, determined that the allegation was unfounded um, many years ago. Uh, why it's coming back up, I, I don't really know the circumstances, um, but he certainly denies it. And it's our position that uh, if there was any merit to the claims, certainly charges would have been brought to his daughter on the stand to accuse him in the many prosecutions they indicted him for. So Jennifer, I want to give the benefit of the doubt to him. I want to give the benefit of the doubt to her as well. But when you look at the clip in that documentary, she's in tears. And um, I'm just wondering if you or your client think that she's acting. It's not how it works, Ashley. Um, there is not only incredible data around false allegations, um, my own personal 25 years of experience, but also scholarly articles. And um, we know that sometimes people come to believe things based on um, having distorted and contaminated memories, particularly children, and this can be done by their mothers. I mean, this is not this is not junk science. This stuff exists. I don't know what her motivation is. I don't know what's going through her brain. What I can tell you is that Mr. Uh, Kelly again denies the allegation, and you know the Cook County State's Attorney's Office back in 2019 literally set up a hotline after the Surviving R. Kelly series came out. And anybody could call with an allegation against Mr. Kelly and have their allegation uh, investigated. And what we learned is that people did not always tell the truth when they called. Not every allegation had merit. And so just because someone says it's true and people cry doesn't necessarily mean it has merit. Okay. Um, again, I'm not, so I'm not making specific, uh, you know, I don't know what her allegation or her motivations are, but it, just because someone cries, okay. I don't think can assume they're telling the truth or that they remember accurately. Jennifer Bonjean's stance on this is not surprising. Obviously, she's still protecting her client and uh, she's saying he's devastated about it and he denies the claims. Um, she questions why this never went public while he was on trial. I think we all asked that, but at the same time, maybe she didn't feel safe. I mean, I don't know. What I do know is that I posted this documentary, both parts, on my YouTube channel. If you're subscribed, you should be able to access it. It is unlisted. Therefore, only subscribers, I believe, are able to access the link. That's all I got, y'all. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Does this surprise you at all that R. Kelly is denying the claims and that he's upset about it um, and that Jennifer Bonjean is rolling her eyes at the fact that this girl and her mother are devastated in tears about the situation. Let me know in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Till next time. Bye.